Hello everyone, Mark here, Mark's Max Muscle, and today we are taking a look at Rafael Brandeo and the improvements that he has made since last year. This is the 2020 Europa Pro and the 2021 Prague Pro Championships. He placed third at the Europa and he placed second here at the Prague Pro Championships. Food for thought right ahead of Regan Grimes in both events, so nothing really has changed between them two and their feud. Anyway, what improvements has he made? It looks like he has gone through definitely some more abuse this time around. His pecs look more, you know, defined. His arms look much more, uh, I don't know if you want to say it more defined, but they just look more vascular. Maybe even some size on there as well. The forearms, I definitely noticed. So he's he's grabbing a hold of them weights with conviction. His wheels, 110% better, I would say. There's more cuts in the inner inner thighs and and the quads themselves, more muscle separation. Now, one thing I did notice about Rafael Brandao, and this is maybe a little bit dubious to mention this, but was his schnoz, his beak, his nose. Have a look, guys. And the, the, rest, the rest of his uh, face looks like he has been beat with an ugly stick. But I guess that's the... Uh, the sacrifices he was a handsome man now look big it was is that a gh schnoz a growth hormone nose is that possible anyway guys front double bicep pose and if i thought for one second that Raphael was actually going to watch these videos i wouldn't say that it was purely for your guys's entertainment and if you think it's mean well if you laughed or even if you smiled or thought it was funny then you're just as bad as me you know that right Anyway, guys, more serious. One thing that I do appreciate more for the Europa, it looks like he's, you know, maybe depleted a little bit differently. It looks like his rib cage and his lats actually opening up a little bit more. Go to the front lat spread, speaking of lats. He is most certainly ready for the, the pitcher being taken at the Europa. So it's hard to really judge the two. You can see at the prog, it looks like he had already hit the shot a few times. He's working the crowd or what have you, the judges. Doesn't look like he is, you know, exactly ready for the shot. And having said that, I mean, sure, sure, he looks better at the Europa. But that is just simply the display. I still would wager to say that he has put on some, some beef on the quads. Go through these poses. And for a comparison like this, I generally like to have all of the pitchers the exact same stance things of that nature he is tilted a little bit dousely here hard to get the side shots exactly the same of course it's hard to tell you know his delts actually might look a little bit better for the europa and judging by the rest of the pitchers i wouldn't say so i wouldn't say so it's the display guys and the wheels as well looks like he's got a bigger hamstring for the europa and that is not the case. It is simply the display of the shot. So having said that, go to the next one, which is a hoo-ha, a hoo-ha pose position. The technical term for this actual pose, the hoo-ha. And here you can clearly see that it was the display last time. The delts look much bigger, tricep as well. And look at that hanging hamstring. I think for sure his wheels are better. Arms probably too. Now the pecs look good. Europa abs look good as well abs look good as well so you know not not leaps and bounds not leaps and bounds but as far facially as far that schnoz <laughs> wow wow gh knows all day and daily side tricep same thing guys as the side chest only 10 times worse you can't tell you can't tell the Europa Pro. Now, if I was judging this one, two different specimens, of course, I'm going to go with the Europa Pro. And you guys that follow me generally know that I go for the one that hits the, the pose to spec. Now, I appreciate that because it's easier on the judges. You're supposed to hit the same exact same pose as everybody else to judge each individual muscle. So, you know, some guy has an advantage from the side. He'll have a disadvantage from the front, maybe. And what Rafael Brandeo is doing here, he's going to the front at the Prog Pro. So I'm writing this one off. Go to the back development. And this is where 
it gets a little debatable. I honestly think he was more ready for the Europa Pro. He was practiced, the shots, things of that nature. But he has definitely improved. When you look at the traps, the thick muscle, and the, the lags look better too. The lags look better too. So what do I mean that he was he was more ready for the Europa Pro? I just think he he was practicing his poses a whole lot more. He would hit the shot. He would hold it. And food for thought, there was some more pictures of him hitting the rear lat spread from the Europa. He was leaning back, but was the different posture altogether. Now, the thing about Brandeo is, I don't think he, he nailed his conditioning either one of these two times. I'm sure some of you guys shaking your head right now. We'll have a look, guys. This is the 2019 Arnold Classic. Now, no, he didn't have the girth, the muscle mass that he does now, but he was much more ready. You see that? Condition-wise, oh, he was oh, bang on, bang on. Anyway, that's not what this is about, guys. This is about these two versions. He is hitting his back shots differently. I couldn't get one from the Europa Pro where he was going upright. You can see he's holding his back up more now. Less wrinkles. Less wrinkles. And that, that's what that causes. Wheels look better. Now, glutes, are they more conditioned? That's one of the first things that I, that I noticed, that he was no more conditioned, I think, as far as uh, the glutes and the hamstrings are concerned, than he ever was at the 2019. I mean, that was... This is this could be Patrick Moore all over again, you know. Nailed it in 2019 and maybe never again. Abs and thigh, here was in the improvement. Now, it's harder to tell from these shots, but I mean, for those of you who, you know, watch the videos, watch the video footage, things of that nature, he was not smooth in the abs. He has a small waistline. He just lacked that Nick Walker type muscle separation. And it looks like now at the Prog Pro, he he, was, he has improved in that, for sure. Whatever type of ab workouts he is doing. I mean, they say not to lift weights with your abs. It makes your waist bigger, but, well, maybe it makes your separation in your abs better, too. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed this one. The most muscular, obviously. You can't judge this one. He looks better at the Prog, for sure. He's going full crab or half crab, what, what have you. But it creates a whole lot of separation in those packs. Once I do get some better pictures of Rafael Brandeo, I will uh, be interested in doing a top three or maybe even a top four at the Prague Pro. I meant to do one from the, uh, oh gosh darn it, the Egyptian Pro, but those pictures still have not came out. So <laughs> whenever whatever uh, comes out first, I will be doing it, but I would definitely be interested in seeing Rafael Brandeo and Regan Grimes in particular, two and three at that event, Samson Douda, of course, one. Anyway, guys, like I said, the schnoz is the biggest difference that I can see. That I can see. GH knows, whatever you would call it. Anyway, guys, I apologize. Rude, rude. But like I said, if you found that funny, you're just as bad as me. An enabler. Hit thumbs up on the video. It really helps with the algorithms, things of that nature as well. Have a great day.